It's been reported that the UK's Financial Ombudsman Service receives complaints about car and motorcycle insurance more than any other insurance product, and that more than 60% of those complaints relate to the claims process. Kenneth, is there anything unique about the claims process for cars and motorcycles in the UK, or are these more universal pain points for insurance customers? Abby, I, I have a little bit of an insurance industry insider position on this, which may not be very popular with, uh, you know, with consumer advocates, right? which is that um, I think this is a situation where uh, a very commoditized and very price sensitive market results in people not knowing quite what they bought or what they actually can expect in claims from the policy they bought. And on the back end, uh, there's a lot of dissatisfaction. The UK, it was one of the first markets, and I would say one of the most aggressively uh, price commoditized markets. You saw the ag- the advent of all the price aggregation, uh, and uh, sorry, the you know the, the sites that have offered you price aggregation of insurance policies um, very early in the UK, and that's continued to be how uh, that particularly auto and, and motorcycle insurance is sold in the UK. I think in those situations. Customers who then pick the lowest price off an aggregator site um, really don't understand necessarily what's in the fine print or what's really going to happen on the back end when they have a claim. So in this situation, it's a little bit, unfortunately, um, you know, you get what you pay for because you actually don't know what you're paying for on those on those uh, aggregator sites. Uh, it's not unlike someone who buys the lowest price airline ticket on a on a travel site and then finds out that they're going to get charged for bringing you know their their laptop bag on the plane with them um again this is the insurance in, inside industry insider view uh, i think this is a a natural outcome of that highly highly commoditized um you know aggregator site dynamic that occurred in the uk i don't think there's anything unique about the claims process as you uh, as you asked about other than the fact that, of course, it is the time when you actually find out whether, in fact, the insurance you purchased is going to actually give you what you hoped it would. So uh, I think it is the point when uh, the, the promise of insurance comes to life. And unfortunately, uh, for the UK motor and um, you know auto and motorcycle uh, coverage, very often there wasn't a clear understanding of what that promise was. And customers end up very exposed and clearly very dissatisfied. All right. Thanks a lot, Abby. Talk to you soon.